Hi everybody, Geek and Dan here today. Again with you on a Wednesday and the weather outside. The last time we spoke it was snowing. Right now it, uh, the sun's out. It's uh, getting quite a bit uh, warmer. Uh, the trees are all full of leaves. Carol and I wait for uh, uh, all the trees to get green and whatnot. It makes us quite happy and usually in early June they're pretty well done and we're getting close to that. Today I'm going to talk to you about something very, very, very simple. I, I hope anyway. I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to show you this little wire. This little tiny little wire. It's almost not their wire. And there's little tiny wires inside. There's a whole bunch of them right inside there. This little wire helps me communicate to you. It takes my computer, my area, and it zooms it down into this little canal and it zooms along the wire and then breaks out the other side uh, in what's called the, the World Wide Web. Uh, the entire world and you. So this wire connects me to you. It's our way of communicating. It's what we use to communicate. Now, if I were to take this wire and pinch it off, pinch it off really hard like that, Chances are that I would I would I would damage this wire and this wire would not be useful anymore and we would have a hard time communicating. We could probably find another way of doing it, but basically our communications would not be as easy. So the idea is to keep this wire as as safe as we can and protect it as much as we can and not subject it to any really harsh bends or twists or something like that that uh, that would uh, impede its performance. Now, you say, what am I talking about a wire for? Well, this wire, this communication between you and me, uh, is similar to the communication that we can have with God. Uh, our, our communication that we have with God, our, from our hearts and our souls, we communicate with, with Jesus. And the way we do it is not by a wire like this particularly, but we do it with prayer. We do it with uh our kindness. We do it with our hearts. Uh, we communicate with God uh, by following the commandments, by being good to our fellow man, uh, by keeping this line, this this little line that we're this this is our communication line between us and God by keeping it open. Uh, and if we were to pinch that communication line uh, between us and God off, it would be difficult to communicate with Him. Uh, and you would say, well, how do you pinch off the line between us and God? Well, I'm not going to say 100%, but I'm going to say sin creates this little pinch. Something that, that we do that we're not really proud of, uh, uh, something that we wish we had done better. Uh, omission also is a sin. If we're supposed to help or we're in the position to help somebody, we do not help them. That's our way of 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 bending this little wire, bending this little communication, uh, and not having good communication with God. So you say, well, how do we repair that between me and God? How do we repair that? Well, actually, the more that we pray, the more that we follow his commandments, the more that we help one another, the more that we, we, we love one another and help one another, especially in these days of pandemic, uh, I know you are all just as tired of this pandemic as I am. Have to stay in the house. You can't go here. You can't see your relatives or your friends, your favorite restaurants, uh, little projects around the house. I'm going crazy here. There's so many things that I can be doing, uh, but I just got to stay home because of the pandemic and whatnot. And I have to cross our fingers. Hopefully the government is going to come up with a, a different set of rules for us. Uh, but if not, we follow what there is. We have to follow the rules. Just like when we talk to God and we talk to Jesus, um, he set out the rules. Um, uh, Moses was the first uh, person to download something onto us, uh, his tablet. Uh, there's a little joke in there. Uh, but we have to keep the lines of communication open. We have, between us and God, the straighter that we have this, the less damage that we have this, this wire in, the less, less pinches that we have, the more praying to repair this communication that we have with God. Uh, that's what we have to learn how to do. Now, it's not hard. Uh, it might not be, uh, it might not be uh, as easy to start praying. But like I had said once before, um, even just walking around when you're, when you're at the house doing your chores or you're walking outside, 
um, you find yourself talking to yourself. And, and, and even if you say, thank God, when you see a pretty flower or a child or something like that, you say, thank God, or nobody got hurt in that accident. That's thank God. That's you communicating directly with God. That's you improving this line that we have, this little wire that we use. Um, that's what we have to uh, protect our communication with God. So, um, until we talk again, until we meet again, uh, I wish you all the best. Carol and I pray for you, and we hear about some of the situations that some of you are in, and 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 we talk at dinner, and we pray for you, and and we understand sometimes that uh, things happen that you have no control over, uh, but you must keep the lines of communication open with God, with Jesus. You have to keep keep your wire. Keep it, keep it straight and narrow and no kinks in it and no, no bends. You've got to keep it, keep it straight so the lines of communication can, can continue to go through. So until I see you again in a couple of weeks or I possibly at Mass, hopefully we don't know what's happening with the, with the government. We we'll just have to sit and wait. Uh, God bless each and every one of you and we love you. Thank you.